Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with another haul. If you're new to my channel, my channel is Trashley's Treasures, where I share all of my trash picking finds as well as my weekly shopping finds from stores like Dollar Tree, Marshalls, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, etc, etc. I love to shop and I love to share my finds with everyone. And today's haul is going to be a bunch of Christmas items that I would consider small gifts as well as stocking stuffers. So let's get started. The first thing that I was excited to find was this, Candyland. This was my favorite game as a kid. And when I found this in the toy section, I couldn't pass it up. It's ob obviously a more condensed version of the game. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Uh, the game board itself is just made out of poster board. It's probably half the size of the original game. I don't see the chocolate slug guy, so I don't know if any of the other characters are the same or not, but uh, it comes with the instructions as well as some play pieces that just pop off and also the um, characters are in here as well. So some stickers, and I think you punch out these thicker cardboard pieces to apply the characters. So if you're looking for a, a small game to play with your family on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day after you're done opening up your presents, I think that there's nothing wrong in getting this. This is coming from Greenbrier, which is the Dollar Tree, um, you know, name, if you will. So you should be able to find this. They also had Monopoly, Shoots and Ladders, and Battleship. I think there might have been one or two other ones, but those are the ones that I was familiar with as a kid. So I was happy to pick that up um, and add to my selection. The next thing I found was um, they had some cute Santa hats. This one particular in the Argyle sweater um, shape. So right now I am wearing a Houston Astros hat because we made it to the World Series. First game is on Tuesday against the Atlanta Braves. So if you're not, if you're new to my channel, I am from Philadelphia. However, two years ago I moved to Houston to relocate for my boyfriend's job and I am a Philadelphia sports team fan through and through. However, I'm going to root, root, root for the home team. And right now the home team is in the World Series. But I'm going to take this off now and put on some holiday cheer. And this is super cute hat. I'm going to wear this when we decorate the Christmas tree and uh, when I open up presents. And so going along with that, I also picked up some more socks. I really like the colors of these. Again, these are super soft um, from the Dollar Tree brand, Snugadoo. Uh, they have a lot of great Christmas socks out right now. I think it would be super cute if maybe you don't do the whole, everyone gets the matching pajamas. Maybe everyone just gets matching socks. For one, it's a lot cheaper to do that way. And two, you don't grow out of socks like you do your you know, Christmas outfit. I've seen so many of those um, matching Christmas sets at on the shelves at Goodwill. So uh, I know a lot of people from when I worked at QVC would pick up a new set each year and that's not always the most economical thing to do. I think if everyone had matching socks and you all lined up and had your feet stretched out and took a picture facing you guys, with the matching socks. I think that would be a sweet family photo and everyone can wear whatever they want at that point. Um, also going along with the socks, I hit the jackpot with these gold toe socks. Now, these are a name brand and I'll show you right here, the price tags on these are $8. So maybe not everyone's a fan of getting or gifting socks for the holidays. I know my boyfriend thinks that it's a silly idea, but I've been told from people that they enjoy getting socks and I think socks have a lot of personality to them. So if you can find a pair that maybe speaks to someone on your list, why not pick them up, especially when they're at the Dollar Tree and especially when they're a brand name, Gold Toe. 
So again, these retailed for $8. And this particular pair says that it's odor control and it has Santa goffing. I thought that that was so cute. And these are long trouser socks. So nice packaging. Uh, the next pair, um, it looks like they have an old fashioned. So this is probably some whiskey and they have the little glass, a spilt glass, which I thought was cute. Again, um, these fit up to size six to 12 and a half. Obviously they look like they're for men, but I wouldn't have a problem wearing those either. And this is name brand. These aren't the Dollar Tree socks. This was also a nice um, argyle pattern with the deer here. And I believe the deer has a wreath around his neck. And I was really, really excited to find this pair. This would be the perfect pair to wear for your ho holiday gatherings and throw these in someone's stocking, maybe pick a few up. Um, if you're getting someone a pair of shoes for the holidays, um, everyone you can use socks. And I picked these ones specifically up for Brendan because they have the fish bones and I can't wait to put these in his stocking and I'm sure he'll be happy to get them. So pretty much all of our socks at this point have come from the Dollar Tree. So two other items that I just want to throw in this pile um, to give you guys some ideas were some scarves. Um, this particular scarf even has some tassels down at the bottom. Uh, but what I am suggesting is to use this as an eco-friendly way of wrapping your presents. Obviously something small, or maybe you can use it as a bow to tie around the present. But I think that instead of using wrapping paper, maybe using a scarf or a bandana from the Dollar Tree is a great multi-purpose way to wrap your gifts or small items that you're putting inside of a gift bag or a stocking stuffer. And also, um, I found these chocolatey spoons. Now these seem to be c coming back year after year at the Dollar Tree and I picked them up this year. I think that it would be a really sweet holiday tradition if you made your family some hot cocoa and gave everyone a spoon or maybe you had these sitting at their place setting for Christmas breakfast and you all just sat there and stirred your little chocolate spoons and I think that would be a super sweet touch just to make that hot cocoa just a little bit better. They also have the hot cocoa bombs with the um, marshmallows inside, but um, I'm really excited to try out the spoons. The next couple of items are some beauty items. I think these would be the perfect little items to put in someone's stocking um, for the holidays, a young girl or anyone like that. Um, this one in particular, I think you could wear with your holiday outfit. It's a velvet um, headband. They also had a scrunchie to match, but this is the style of the headband here. I like the, the wrapped twist there. And super cute hair accessories, maybe some pearls or um, bobby pins, things like that, just to step your holiday outfit up a little bit. Um, so I'll probably wear this with my holiday outfit. And the next thing I found was some brand, brand name Revlon Flesh Thick Stick Foundation. I saw this in another color and it does say on the back here that if you get the darker shade, you can use that as a contour. So I'm going to specifically try this out as a foundation and a concealer. And I have yet to try it out, but again, name brand, perfect thing to stick inside someone's stocking for that beauty lover on your list. Speaking of the beauty lovers, they also have recently been putting out some makeup brush cleansing mitts. And if you'll see on the back here, you'll just rub your brush on the back. It has multi textures on it to help keep your brushes clean. You are supposed to wash your makeup brushes after every single time you use them. I don't do that, nor do I think most people in the world. But if you could get the young people on your list to get in that habit, or maybe you yourself need to, to do that, um, this is a great pickup for only a dollar. So happy that they have these out. They also have some makeup brush cleaning spray that I've seen, but I didn't get that. Another thing, um, perfect stocking stuffer or a small gift item to put for someone on your list is this Maybelline Lip Color Palette. 
eight different shades, perfect for the holidays with all the reds and the pinks there. This is something you would buy at Walgreens or Walmart, Target, and you'd be paying at least $6 for this. So I was really happy to stumble upon this name brand item. Another Maybelline product I found was this color correcting palette. And what they have in here is some highlighters, concealer, and correcting colors. So you use yellow to correct, you know, some dark lines. It actually even tells you here on the back how to use the, the palette. So even has a brush inside. And I'm going to try these out the next time that I do my makeup. So I'm not sure if someone used this one or not. This one did not have a seal on it. However, this one did. So I was happy about that. Definitely take a look for that when you're in your store. It looks like someone might have swiped this one with the, the brush. Um, I might have done it. I don't really remember. And something else I've been needing because I recently ran, ran out of my eyebrow gel. This is from a brand name called Beauty Essentials. And they have several other types of products there, including um, lipsticks and lip liners and eyeliners. I specifically needed the eyebrow gel, so I picked this up for myself. Another great stocking item. And all right, so that does it for the beauty items. And then one other thing I just recently found new in the electronics section for maybe when you're taking those holiday photos with the cute socks is a wide angle camera lens. It says it attaches to most smartphones and I'm curious to hook this up to my iPhone and see what it does. Um, it says it helps out with panoramic um, shots. So yeah, I mean, if for a dollar this can help step up the game of your smartphone, then that would be a great thing to find. And the last couple of items I have here are maybe um, something you wanna pick up to throw all of these fun beauty finds into are the little cosmetic pouches that they have. This would look cute if you just set something like this under the tree as is without even adding tissue paper or anything, just kind of use this as a gift bag and um, have it sitting out and be one of the first things that your um, the people receiving the gifts see. So they have all different types of ones. I pulled out another one from my personal collection that I've had. This one's kind of like a pleather detail. It says live happy. Um, but they constantly are putting out new ones of these cosmetic pouches. And these are great to have on hand for when you're traveling and things like that. And one other thing you might wanna add for that beauty lover on your list is the microfiber hair wrap. They sell, sell things like these at QVC, Walmart, everywhere, but um, I don't wash my hair too often. I actually recently just went six whole months without washing my hair and I don't even use dry shampoo. Girls, let me tell you, all you need to do is train your hair little by little, just work up to the point where you don't need to wash your hair. Trust me, even on a weekly basis, you do not need to wash your hair and put horrible products in it. So um, for those times that I do wash my hair, I will have something nice to wrap my hair in. I do have hair that it goes down to my butt. So I'm not sure if it will fit all of my hair in this, but um, just know that the Dollar Tree has all those perfect essentials for that spa-like experience. So that's it for today's video. Just to give you a heads up, I have some decor, holiday decor coming out for my next video from the Dollar Tree. And I also have another video planned for home for the holidays with all the essentials that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree to make your stay at home that much more cozy if you're bringing guests in for the holidays. So stay tuned for those videos and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and go Astros.